Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lennon Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. I've seen the countless amounts of people and the countless amounts of comments that say, Sam, please, play Thor. Play Thor, please, Sam, I can't. I can't live, I can't live any longer. Please, play Thor. Um, here you go, guys. I mean, y'all want it and I'm, I'm bringing it. Uh, that being said, I just want to make it very clear. It could have been one person completely spamming my comments on Twitter, on Twitch, and on YouTube. Could have just been one dude. I didn't check the name. I didn't name cross. Um, but it seemed like a lot of a lot of people wanted me to play Thor. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this cue out real quick uh, unless anything spectacular happens during it. All right, welcome back, boys. Cue over. You over. Going for a speed buff, huh? Minions have spawned. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that couldn't have been better. We did so much damage and stole his buff. That was so good. Holy shit. He definitely backed, right? There's no way he was greedy enough to go to his uh, blue right after that. No, he definitely backed. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, dude. That was so, so good. The opener right there was so good. Let them come. Uh, I don't like the fact that I missed that. But I also don't mind it too much, to be honest. Warrior's Blessing is nice. I won't be able to kill him. It would take two more autos, and with one auto, he would be able to get away. That being said, a double tap would kill. Oh! Unless it didn't. Nice. Nice. I'm playing Thor like a king right now, man. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Get the tier 2 booties. I'll get a, get a chalice as well, why not? Oh, he didn't go for his blue immediately, which is where I'm going. On my way, brother. Brother, 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 brother. I don't care if you see me all. Not even there. Oh yeah, he is. Nice. I got it. That's so good, dude. Shutting a Poseidon down from his blue buff also. Not too scared of him. I have Aegis. I could have killed if I teleported to that. That was a mistake. I have Aegis. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. He has no mana. Alright, he's dead. Nice. He used all of his mana to clear there. Big mistake. Unfortunately, I can't clear the wave, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's just go get this. Alright. I was really certain he was going to try to crack at me there, but he didn't. Thank goodness. I'm trying to listen for him at my blue right now. Is that red? Good. I want blue. I don't care about red. I don't need more damage. I have power boots already finished. I don't. I definitely don't need more damage. Perf. 
perfect. Blue buff is really helpful. Uh, what's his relic? Beads? Let's get it. Uh. Uh, I think we definitely win this fight here. The stun? Uh, no. Uh, we definitely don't win this fight anymore. You got tier 1 defense. That's a good play. Good play. I'm booling, I'm booling. Alright, that probably would have double tapped, but I didn't want to risk it. That probably would have double tapped and killed him, but I really, like, I didn't want to risk that. Because, let's say it, it misses the double tap and he just gets away. That's an important kill that I missed because I didn't commit the way I should have, you know? If you have the mana, you should always overcommit. If, like, if, okay, I shouldn't say it like that. If you have the mana and you know you can kill him if you commit, and there's no chance of you dying, then you should always overcommit your mana um, rather than undercommit. Undercommitting is a deadly sin. Yes, by the way, I am a jungler when I play Conquest, so I do kind of know how to play all these these assassins. Um, that's why I have literally every assassin diamond. Well, except for a couple that are bad. I think I'll hear this all the way over here. Definitely did not hear it. Oh, no way. He got away from that. Honestly, I'm impressed. Okay. Nice. I don't know if he beats that or not. I kind of, I feel like I heard a beads maybe in the uh, like the slightest form of a beads there, but I could be wrong. And I don't want to. I don't want to think that he beads and then make a play assuming he has no beads and then die because he does. You know. All right, now we go more into the power range, so I'm gonna go for trans. We definitely have the runic shield on lock. We have the warrior's blessing already stacked. We're doing pretty good. I can get my second relic. Is Max cool? Oh, no, that's a big deal. Let's see. He's definitely scared of me. As he should be. The double tap. Doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping. I will say though, the knockback immune on the three is very good. Blue is up. Well played. Played well played. Oh, come on, Archer. I really thought you had my back there, homie. I thought you had my back there, homie. Come on. It's alright. I don't have that much damage right now. Because I don't have my Transcendence online yet. Um, I'm going to go Thorns because I do believe that 
With my runic shield and the fact that he doesn't have any power right now, if he krakens me, I can actually survive it. So, I am going to go thorns. I will admit, my clear is some ass when you don't have when you don't have assassin's blessing on Thor. I would like cooldown, which I will get. He's backing. Perfect. 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 Thank you. <coughs> He couldn't afford Bancrofts after that back, right? Nah, he couldn't. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Like I said, I don't really care about the damage he's dealing right now. My main goal is to just be the alpha. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job at. I'm gonna go Bull Demon here. I don't know if I can get it, but I hope I can. Nice. Nice. Very good. Thorns OP. And like I said, he doesn't have much power right now, so I can I can kind of just abuse the fact that I have Runic Shield and that item is super OP still, and um, just use Thorns to get my kills for now. I will overstay my welcome, take a couple tower shots and get the tower. It's a big deal. And then I think I'm gonna go, I want some cooldown. What are my options here? Yo, you know what actually, Soul Eater would be really nice. That's not Soul Eater. Soul Eater would be really nice. Soul Eater and then maybe some anti-heal. Mm, I think I will actually pick this up. I'm thinking Soul Eater Jotuns is the plan. That gives me sustain and helps me out quite a bit in terms of my my fighting potential. He might be doing Bull Demon, which would be a, an amazing play by him. I'm going to assume he's not. And just, um, just go up and clear and then run away. I don't, I mean, you're not killing me. You just, you don't, you don't have a chance. I'm going to back, I'm going to go get my Soul Eater. And I guess a mana pot, then I'll head out. And now, because I just got my power spike by finishing an item, and the fact that he has no Kraken, is the time that I full commit to Bull Demon. Hopefully, it's not a bad plan. But, you never know. He did ward it. Nice. He backed up a little bit because I stopped attacking. Oh, well played. Wall the wall, or wall the path off. Um, and I unfortunately I'm gonna have to let him live, I think. In the interest of actually getting the Phoenix. Because I think if I if I chase that kill, I won't be able to get Phoenix in time. <sighs> yeah, luckily I don't think that I need minions to get the Phoenix. All right. 
have my alt up. I'm 100% fine. Good stuff. Phoenix down. Against the Poseidon. Now I want a Jotun's. How much is that? How much does that cost? 2300? I could sell this and just full buy, so I think I will. I think I will. He does have a bit more power now that he finished that demonic grip. A, a little bit more power and pen. So. It's a little scary. But it's not scary enough to actually scare me, you know? I think I could still take a crack into the mouth. Assuming he doesn't have fully stacked demonic already. Fall off his getaway path. Yeah, that, I mean, double tap three does so much damage. There's no way he thinks like, hey. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Yo, my ult didn't go off in time. That's super unlucky. I thought by stunning him and then ulting, I would be able to get uh, get away. That's pretty unlucky, to be honest. I don't have my Soul Eater stacked yet, though, which is pretty shitty. I think uh, the best play here is just more defense. I don't think I need more damage. I think my, my plan is to just, like, all in the Titan, really. And I'm pretty sure that plan will work, assuming I don't instantly die to any kind of Kraken shenanigans. Alright. Alright. I thought I would do a lot more damage to them, but I definitely didn't. Oh, Ring of Hecate probably sapped a lot of my power, huh? How? Where did I... Where can you see what I hit? Is this the Titan? Hmm. I don't know. Unfortunately, Poseidon has hit the late game point, and late game Poseidon isn't really stoppable. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win from this this point. But goddamn, did I give it a good try? He has no mana after his two runs out there, so... Damn, maybe he just gets enough mana back all the time. Just by regen. I'm down for this because you know what it gets me is um it gets me potential phoenix I life steal a lot man Weak. 
wants to crack at me. Might be able to kill. If I completely wall off this wall. Did I get it? I got it. Nice. GG, dude. Yo, the sustain. The sustain was so leader and then the double defense. What a well-played game. I really hope you guys enjoyed that because I loved playing that one out. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.